I welcome you to this talk. The subject of this talk is surrender. The title is surrender the illusion and be free. What does it really mean? What does surrender really mean? One of the ways that you can vacate the world, the world being the mind, the world is just a mind. There is really no world other than the mind. What the mind is projecting, what the mind is thinking that the world is. So the way to, to vacate the world is the same as vacating the mind. To vacate the mind is the true vacation. It is your true being that is already vacated from the world, already vacated from the mind, which means that it is not the mind. It is not the body. It is already outside of that, before that, prior to that. In fact, the thoughts, the mind is happening inside of what you are. The world is happening inside of what you are. So this is to realize that you are already beyond it. I've shared before how to vacate the world, vacate the mind. First, you must realize you are not the body or mind. Second, is to decide with your will that you will not engage in the mind. Most beings have been trained to be engaged in the mind because they are entangled with what they think the world is, not realizing that what they think the world is is really just the mind. It is the mind's ideas, the mind's projection, the mind's story. So to be in the world is really to be in the mind, to be engaged in the mind. What if you don't engage in the mind? What if you decide that I am not the body or mind through realizing that, and you say, I decide not to engage with the mind? Instead, to stop. Instead, to be still. Instead, to be vacated. It is not a doing, it is not an effort, it is just to realize the truth, it is just to not engage. Engaging is the effort. Engaging is tiring, engaging is using energy. But what if you just disengage from the story, simply not engage? You have the power to do it, you have the will to do it. But if for some reason you find that you cannot seem to do it, that you don't seem to have the will, you don't seem to have the power to vacate the mind, to vacate the world, which is the same as vacating the illusion. Then you can surrender. You can simply surrender. If there is no will, surrender. Surrender the illusion. Surrender control. Realize there is really no true control, not personal control. There is no personal control. Surrender. And then instantly from surrender, you have vacated the mind. You have vacated the world. You have vacated from the illusion. Because the illusion is in thinking that someone is the doer of something, that they are the doer, that they are the controller. This is the personal story that most beings live through. They have been conditioned to be in that personal story. And at the center of that story is a sense of self that is separate from the whole of life. It comes as the thoughts, me, my, or I. Me, my, or I. My life, my world, my money, my relationships. Me, why did this happen to me? Why did this person do this to me? I, I am this, I am that. I like this, I like that. I am happy, I am sad. It is a limited identification 
false identification which is saying essentially i am this body i am this mind and i am the doer i am the controller i must make things happen so surrender it surrender that illusion see that it is an illusion and surrender the illusion surrender control surrender doership and instantly you are there instantly you are vacated instantly in that you have vacated the mind the world the illusion and you are free you are free the challenge is to be established in that freedom that's the challenge because you may have moments of feeling free and then it feels like you get pulled back in so how much are you willing to surrender the great sage ramana marahashi said that often what is required is partial surrender partial self surrender if you cannot entirely surrender if you cannot surrender all control then what can you surrender how much can you surrender how much are you willing to surrender or are you believing the arrogance of the mind that thinks it is in control that thinks it is the doer that thinks i am this body and mind that's the one that is suffering that is the sufferer so either you can use the will and decide to vacate the mind to stop to not engage with the mind or you surrender either way it will lead you to taste true freedom